specific reason that I started modeling in Boston was because I couldn't find a job in my field, um, which is oral history. Um, that's the field I worked in right after I graduated college. Um, I went to Dartmouth College and have a degree in studio art, so I'm also a visual artist and a writer and a performer. Um, I work for the schools, um, private drawing groups and sketch groups, open sessions, um, and also individual artists or private workshops. Um, you know, running the gamut from photography, which I do a little bit of on the artsier side, to working with colleges. So this one is um, a collage done on a magazine page. Um, it's kind of more abstract, but that's Helen of Troy behind me. Um, this one is super cartoony. I love this one. This one was done by someone who regularly goes to the Molden Sketch Group. Hi Matt. This one is super sweet. It's fading already, um, but this was done by Wendy Arton, um, who comes to some of the drawing groups I work in. It's really fun um, having those because part of what I really love about this job is, you know, you have this idea in your head of what you look like, and then, you know, there are also, you can take pictures and you can see what that looks like, but when you have a drawing or a painting or a sculpture, that's really someone's best attempt at creating what you look like through their eyes. And that's always so different from what a picture or like my own image of myself is. And for me, that was so liberating. At first, it was horrifying because sometimes I'd walk around the classrooms and I'd see, you know, myself depicted in ways that just, I don't know. I didn't think I looked that way and I took it personally. But now I really love seeing that because what it's taught me is that everyone sees people differently and they'll focus on different things. And it's so liberating because at the end of the day, it totally doesn't matter what I look like because everyone sees differently anyway. And doing this work, I guess, has really freed me to just enjoy my body and what it can do and what it feels like to be inside of it and not worry as much at all about what it looks like because it doesn't matter. I think even if I did transition to another type of work, I would still want to do the modeling sometimes because for me it is a creative outlet. It's not just a job. It's something that I get up in the morning and I'm excited to go to work. I come home at night and I feel good about what I've done. You know, I really love this job. It doesn't even feel like work sometimes. Sometimes I'll leave a group and just forget to get paid because I forget that this is a job that I get paid for. I just walk out without my money. Um, so, I mean, I just really love it. And yeah, I think it's something I'll totally do for my whole life. Just maybe not as my full-time job.